All right, why do we do what we do? Everybody, let's read this together. Romans 10, 11. For the scripture says, whoever believes in him will not be disappointed. In other words, whatever hope you have in your life, God is giving you a promise. In Jesus, you will never be disappointed. What in the world does that mean? Read the next verse. For whoever will call on the name of the Lord will be saved. What we are discussing with you has to do with eternal destiny of humanity. Saved or not saved. Two kinds of people in this world, two kinds of people in this room. Saved or not saved. And who knows who are saved and who knows who are not saved. Only three beings know. Number one, God knows whether you are saved or not saved. Number two, Satan knows whether you are saved or not saved. And number three, you yourself know whether you are saved or not saved. I cannot tell. But that is what is at stake. Saved or not saved. But then the Bible continues. How then will they call on him in whom they have not believed? How will they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how will they hear without a preacher? How? So tell me how. If nobody ever shared with you, how in the world will you hear? And the Bible tells us, how will they preach unless they are sent? Huh. What's required? Manpower, financial resources, training. And CCF is involved in all of the above. In this small country, there is a group of people who are part of CCF. And God is telling you guys, we are not here for ourselves. God has called us to an amazing mission. I like you folks to think, to do something that will outlast your life. And I want you all to get involved in discipleship. From now on, you have no more excuses. I've told you the truth. Without Jesus, people are lost. And they cannot come to Jesus if nobody ever does them. And that is why we do what we do. Are you ready?